What would you do about your crypto if you could not get electricity for a long period of time? Would it be a major uh, problem for you? Uh, have you considered that crypto is a currency that relies on the internet and electrical grids functioning to, to retrieve? Um, you know, one of the things about uh, gold and silver is that they are, you know, they are legal money and they work with the lights out and the power out. Um, and the other thing is paper money, you know, as, as flimsy and, and as insignificant as it may seem, because it's just paper, uh, that works with the power out as well. So, uh, and you're thinking, you may be thinking, well, when the hell is that ever going to happen? How, you know, so the power goes out for a week and then it comes back on. And I think that's how we've, we've gotten to, I mean, I've certainly assumed that, you know, if I'm somewhere with no power, that's just a matter of time and it comes back on. And, uh, and something disturbed me recently when I was, uh, listening to a program about uh, Russia threatening uh, Ukraine with electromagnetic pulse weapons. Uh, and I'm assuming the United States has this type of technology as well. I've been reading about it. I mean, you know, I've heard about this years ago. And I, you don't think about it much. Um, but now that we're, we're sort of in a proxy war with, with Russia, uh, I, I don't think it takes much to imagine a scenario where both sides are using uh, this kind of uh, pulse technology against each other. And imagine a scenario where uh, this kind of conflict went on for years and little by little, back and forth, uh, tremendous, vast you know, sections of the world lost their uh, capacity for electricity. Uh, I don't think it's, you know, I mean, who knew that Russia, who knew that any of this would happen a year ago? It's a, it's extraordinary and kind of shocking. Uh, and, uh, and I think it's something to consider when you've got your crypto uh, in, is, is, is electronic and it's, of course, and you can't retrieve it or you can't access it without electricity. I think that's, it's a little, uh, suddenly that seems, you know, the, the, uh, the electrical grid is not as, um, uh, as not as uh, granted as you might, you know, that I used to think it was. Uh, and I just think regarding uh, building your wealth, and you know, this is supposed to be a real estate channel. This is Justin, the renegade realtor. I'm a little off the subject here, but I think um, it's an economic issue. Uh, you know, real estate is one of the big, you know, the biggest economic move that most people make in their life. And uh, more and more people are uh, getting involved with uh, cryptocurrency. And I think it's worth m considering that this is something that does not work without electricity. Um, I realize that, uh, you know, vast sections of the, of the, of the <laughs> face of the earth losing uh, the capacity for electricity would create problems, you know, uh, that were pretty, pretty awful. Uh, but I also think it's important to remember that humans did pretty well without electricity for, you know, e a millennia. And uh, humans can, you know, can get by without electricity if push comes to shove. However, uh, they can't get the crypto if there's a, a tr you know, if, if, uh, electricity becomes this kind of rare commodity and the internet is messed up and you know uh and, i mean if you if you go to ukraine now what's it like i ima i imagine that quite a bit of it is in the dark so uh hopefully this war will you know conclude and and, and not be any worse than it's already been but uh i think that's something to think about i i, I really just want the answer can crypto work if, I mean, what, what, what are you going to, you're going to have to go to another country to, uh, to get your, uh, to get your funds. I mean, obviously if you're, if you're in a, in a country that doesn't have electricity, you, you got way more pressing concerns than, uh, than where your crypto, what your crypto is doing. Cause you know, it'll probably be safe. It'll be able to be stored on some, on some database somewhere. However, I mean, imagine a really, uh, apocalyptic scenario where a lot of the, the, the equipment that keeps the records of is, is also destroyed. Now, I, I suppose that, you know, because the blockchain, these records are all over the planet and they're, they're not, there's no way that all of it's going to get wrecked.
So I suppose it's safe eventually. But in the shorter term, and in, in a scenario where a war went on for years, and uh, so much of the electrical grid was destroyed, and the capacity for electricity and internet was severely diminished in vast sections of the world, uh, it might be a real problem if you really got into crypto and had a lot of your assets um, stored there. So I just, I really just want the answer. I, I really like to know um, what the, uh, you know, what it's like to have crypto when the power's out. Um, it's just a thought. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'd love to know what you think. And um, next time, see you. Bye-bye.